What's going on, you guys? My name is Caesar, and oh my god, the tea kettle. <laughs> I did not have any idea that this was even on. What's going on, you guys? My name is Caesar, and today I'm going to show you how you can install Nintendo DSi softwares on your jailbroken Nintendo 3DS. And what I mean by built in softwares, I'm talking about the Nintendo DSi camera, DSi sounds, Picto Chat, and the DSi shop, and more. Before we start, I want to give a shout out to Console Pros from eBay. He's the guy I bought the DS from, and he actually helped me jailbreak it. I was gonna do it myself, but he actually did it for me, so it saved me a bunch of time. Not just that, but he also installed over 70 games for me. So as you can see, this guy hooked me up. And perfect timing too, since Nintendo is shutting down the Nintendo eShop in March 2023. He also gave me homebrew softwares, and he also gave me emulators from previous older consoles. So make sure to check him out on eBay, he's got some really good deals that you will love. While the Nintendo 3DS has some really cool softwares like the 3DS camera, sometimes they're a little more bland compared to what they previously had. Don't get me wrong, the Nintendo 3DS has some really cool built-in softwares that came with the console, but here's the thing though. If you compare the Nintendo 3DS camera to the original Nintendo DSi camera, you'll tell that the DSi camera is a lot better. There's more effects, you can edit your photos in a more imaginable way, but all you can really do on the 3DS camera is just graffiti. Now the DSi camera is the main reason why I'm actually making this tutorial. So I'm gonna show you how you can actually install it on your jailbroken Nintendo 3DS. And the process will be the same for any other DSi software. Before we begin though, I do wanna say that not all the DSi softwares I'm going to show off will be working on the 3DS. So I'm gonna show you the step on how to install a DSi software, but I'm also going to be testing them out on camera to show you which ones work and which ones don't. That way, if you guys are trying to download a specific software, that way it saves you guys some time. Alright guys, let's do this! So if you go to DSiWare, you would actually see that all of the DSi softwares would obviously count as DSiWare. So like, look, we got PictoChat, we got DSi Sounds, Download Play, Nintendo Zone for DSi, DSi Browser, Nintendo 3DS Transfer Tool, the Nintendo DSi Shop, and the Nintendo DSi Camera along with Twilight Menu. I'm actually going to be uninstalling the DSi camera, that way I can show you guys how to install it. And I already transferred my pictures to the um, to my SD card, so I'm not, so hopefully they didn't get deleted. So as you can see, right here it's actually uninstalled. It's supposed to be right where the, the 3DS camera is. So I actually uninstalled it, so now let's get to reinstalling it. Now the process on here is very easy. So, if you look at the link in the description of my video, I sent you a link to a place called Internet Archives, and it'll show you all of the CIA files where you can download the Nintendo DSi softwares. I already installed them, so like, I already put them in my folder. So we're gonna go to DSi software. This is my own folder, so this does not come with a download. So, as you can see here, this is all the stuff that I have downloaded. Um, let me get a closer look. This is all the stuff that I downloaded on my 3DS. So look, we got the transfer tool, uh, the browser, download play, the shop. So if you're wondering what the HXD files are, well, okay, so a funny story, because the first set of files that I found on here were NDS files, and I was trying to convert them to CIA, and I was watching a tutorial, and they said you had to change the hex numbers or something, and I have no idea how to do that. So these are still blank files, but they're, but my computer is set to open every CIA file under the Hex app, and, I'm, and I don't know how to disable that. So, I already got the rest of the stuff installed, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take the DSi camera, and we're going to copy it. Then, we're going to go to the micro SD card's files, and go for the file that says CIA's. And then, you're going to go ahead and paste it. 
The process is very easy. Once you install it, all you have to do is just put it under that folder. So now we're gonna go ahead and click eject. All right, now we pop this back in the DS. And now let's go ahead and turn this on. Um, I'll put the back on later. I'm like doing it right now. All right, so let's power you on. Now, as you can see, it's still not there. And that's because you have to go to the FBI software. Now this is where you're going to install your CIA files. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click SD. We're going to go down to CIAs and the Nintendo DSi camera CIA is right here. So now what we're going to do is press A and you can either click install or install and delete. So if you click install and delete, it installs it on the 3DS, but it'll delete it off of this little folder right here because it is technically cluttered. So we're going to go ahead and click install and delete, and now it's going to install. And it installs pretty fast, as you can see. So now all we have to do is close out and give it a second. It should be loading any minute now. Here we are. New software has been added to home menu. And as you can see, the Nintendo DSi camera is right under this present. So, let's go ahead and open it up! And there you go, it's right there! So the download process is very easy. So, to prove to you guys that it actually works too, I'm gonna go ahead and press A. Alright, close that out. I forgot to close that FBI. And now, it's going to run. So, because I reinstalled it, it's probably gonna take me through the tutorial process. So let's see if it works. So as you can see right here, it actually takes you to the tutorial of the DSi camera. That's because this is what would usually happen if you were to select the DSi camera on the Nintendo DSi for the first time. So it's going to take you through this little process. So let me go ahead and take this out the way. And I guess I didn't have to transfer all my... So as you can see, the DSi camera is fully functioning. And look, you can see me right here, trying to make sure the camera is, let me just turn this off. Oh, crap. So as you can see, everything here works perfectly. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and get past this uh, tutorial process real quick. That way I can show you all the other functions on here. So let's get this out of the way real quick. Yes, I, I know how to use this. All right, the tutorial should be over now. So as you can see, this runs perfectly because this technically counts as DSiWare because it's from a DSi console. So while you're necessarily not supposed to be having the DSi camera on your 3DS, it is downloadable. This isn't something you could get on the eShop though. So yes, your 3DS has to be jailbroken in order for any of this process to work. So like if you go to camera right here, so this actually functions very well, and I'll actually show you the full review in another video, but as you can see, the DSiWare here works perfectly. So, we can close out, and, and yes, it thinks it's a DSi, so you know, return to DSi menu, maybe the DSi. So there you go! So yeah, that's the DSi camera on the 3DS, and it doesn't just involve the DSi camera, you can get any DSi built-in software on here. And not all of them are going to work, obviously, but a majority of them pretty much do. Like, they run perfectly. Oh, that's not... Yeah, see, I got like... Oh, no, I didn't mean to click that! So in my next video, we're going to see which softwares work and which ones don't. I already tested it myself, but I'm going to review it for you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like and a subscribe, and also subscribe to my main YouTube channel, CJ Studios. This is my filmmaking YouTube channel, where me and my friends get together and we make skits, and I guarantee you guys will love them. So I will do one more video on this, and I will be showing you guys all of the DSi built-in softwares, and I'll show you which ones work on the 3DS. So we're gonna review the DSi camera, DSi sounds, 3DS transfer tool, DSi shop, etc. So. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.